This is the Music History Today podcast for October 19th. On today's show, the talking heads stop making sense and Brenda Lee records a Christmas classic. First up, though, on this date in 1953, radio and TV host Arthur Godfrey fired singer Julius LaRosa live on Godfrey's radio show. In 1958, Brenda Lee recorded the Christmas classic Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. In 1961, the Beatles and Jerry and the Pacemakers performed together in Liverpool as the Beatmakers. In 1967, Jose Feliciano recorded the song Light My Fire. Also on that same day, the Beatles worked on the song Hello Goodbye. In 1977, Leonard Skinner played their final performance with lead singer Ronnie Van Zant and guitarist Steve Gaines in Greenville, South Carolina. The next day, a plane crash claimed the lives of both Ronnie, Steve, and Steve's older sister, backup singer Cassie Gaines. We discussed that plane crash on this week's Music History In-Depth podcast, which has already dropped on this channel that you are either watching or listening. Please like, subscribe, and do all that algorithm stuff. Meanwhile, in 1984, the Talking Heads released their concert film, Stop Making Sense. In 1991, Kurt Cobain of Nirvana got into a fight with a bouncer at a club that Kurt's band Nirvana played at. In 2001, opera great Luciano Pavarotti was acquitted on tax evasion charges in Italy. In 2012, Justin Timberlake married actress Jessica Biel. And in 2021, the TV show starring Eve and Brandy called Queens premiered on ABC television. In classical music, in 1845, classical composer Richard Wagner premiered the opera Tannhauser. And in 1901, the Pomp and Circumstance March from Edward Elgar premiered. In theater, in 1958, the musical Damn Yankees closed on Broadway. In 1969, the musical The Rothschilds opened on Broadway. In 1975, the musical A Chorus Line opened on Broadway. In 1987, the musical Anything Goes opened on Broadway. And in 1995, the revival of the musical Hello, Dolly! opened on Broadway. In award ceremonies that took place on October 19th in 2005, Youssef Islam received the Songwriter of the Year Award at the ASCAP Awards. Youssef Islam, for those not in the know, was formerly named Cat Stevens. In 2007, Trini Lopez received the Lifetime Achievement Award at the Latinos of Distinction Awards. Albums that were released on October 19th include in 1956 when Elvis Presley released Elvis. In 1959, the Kingston Trio released Here We Go Again and Ray Charles released What I Say. In 1964, Brenda Lee released Merry Christmas from Brenda Lee. Also on that same day, the Beach Boys released The Beach Boys in Concert and Simon and Garfunkel released Wednesday morning, 3 a.m. In 1968, Cass Elliot released Dream a Little Dream. In 1970, The Shadows released Shades of Rock. In 1972, The James Gang released Straight Shooter and Earth, Wind and Fire released Last Days in Time. In 1973, The Who released Quadrophenia. The Wailers released Burnin'. America released Hat Trick. And David Bowie released Pinups. In 1979, The Specials released their self-titled album. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers released Damn the Torpedoes. And Fleetwood Mac released Tusk. Prince released his self-titled album. And Styx released Cornerstone. In 1981, In Excess released Underneath the Colors. In 1985, Fate's Warning released The Spectre Within. In 1987, In Excess released their biggest album, Kick. In 1988, Roxette released their popular album, Look Sharp. In 1990, Salt and Pepper released Black's Magic. The Traveling Wilburys released Traveling Wilburys Volume 3. And The Cure released Mixed Up. In 1991, Motley Crue released their greatest hits album, Decade of Decadence. In 1992, Julian Cope released Jehovah Kill. In 1993, Pearl Jam released their popular album, Versus. Black Moon released Enta the Stage. PJ Harvey released four track demos. Alexis Corner released Mellow Yellow. Jesse Colin Young released Making It Real, Rush released Counterparts, Santana released Sacred Fire Live from South America, and The Zombies released New World. In 1994, Talisman released Human Animal Part 2. 
In 1998, Idlewild released Hope is Important. Billy Piper released Honey to the Bee. Natalie Cole released The Magic of Christmas. The Jim Blossoms released Outside Looking In, The Best of the Jim Blossoms. Ringo Starr released I Want to Be Santa Claus. Three Dog Night released 20th Century Masters, The Millennium Collection, The Best of Three Dog Night. In 2004, Peter Cetera released You Just Gotta Love Christmas. Jimmy Eat World released Futures. Twisted Sister released Still Hungry. John Mellencamp released Words and Music, John Mellencamp's Greatest Hits. Lou Reed, John Cale, and Nico released Le Bataclan 72. Rod Stewart released Stardust, The Great American Songbook Volume 3. And Three Dog Night released 35th Anniversary Hits Collection. In 2010, Bob Dylan did a twofer. He released the Bootleg Series Volume 9, the Whitmark Demos 1962 to 1964, and the original mono recordings. Also on that same day, 2010, Elton John and Leon Russell released The Union, and Rod Stewart released Fly Me to the Moon, the Great American Songbook Volume 5. Singles that were released in the UK on October 19th include in 1973 when the Steve Miller Band released The Joker and in 1979 Chic released My Forbidden Lover. Meanwhile, in America, in 1956, Elvis Presley did a twofer. He released Love Me and Paralyzed. In 1966, The Miracles released I'm the One You Need. In 1967, then known as Smokey Robinson and the Miracles, released I Second That Emotion. In 1970, Neil Young with Crazy Horse released Only Love Can Break Your Heart and Bad Finger released No Matter What. In 1973, Bob Marley and the Wailers released the classic protest anthem, Get Up, Stand Up. In 1979, the Talking Heads released Life During Wartime. In 1984, AHA released their classic 80s track, Take On Me. In 1987, Rush released Time Stand Still, and the Cars released Strap Me In. In 1992, Metallica released Wherever I May Roam, and in 1998, Cher released her big dance hit, Believe. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on October 19th include reggae artist Peter Tosh of The Wailers, rapper Lil Durk, Keith Reed of Procol Harum, Patrick Simmons of The Doobie Brothers, Wilbert Hart of The Delphonics, Nino DeFranco of The DeFranco Family, Dan Woodgate of Madness, reggae artist Frankie Paul, Praz from the Fugees, Chris Sellers of Another Bad Creation, singer extraordinaire Miss Jennifer Holliday, Antoine Trousers of Dyke, Carl Wallinger of World Party, Larry Chance of The Earls, Dave Gard of the Kingston Trio, Todd Park Moore of Big Head Todd and the Monsters, country music singer Rodney Carrington, singer George McRae, Gospel music singer Jeannie C. Riley, singer Gloria Jones, rapper Spottom Gottem, singer Caden Stevenson, singer Sean Price, rapper Josiah, singer Colton Dixon, singer Enka Hoxia, Thundercat of Flying Lotus, and Brian Robertson of Suburban Legends. Artists who unfortunately passed away on October 19th include composer Pietro Pavona, who passed away in 1786 at the age of 58. Composer Arthur Friedheim passed away in 1932 at the age of 72. Songwriter and bandleader Isham Jones passed away in 1956 at the age of 62. Composer Stanley Bate passed away in 1959 at the age of 45. Composer Gunter Raphael passed away in 1960 at the age of 57. Composer John Fernstrom passed away in 1961 at the age of 63. Folksways Records founder Moses Ash passed away in 1986 at the age of 81. 
Folkways, by the way, was the label that had a lot of the classic folk tunes from artists like Woody Guthrie on it. Cellist Jacqueline Dupree passed away in 1987 at the age of 42. Delta blues singer-songwriter Sun House passed away in 1988 at the age of 86. Session guitarist Alan Murphy passed away from pneumonia in 1989 at the age of 36. Jazz trumpet player Don Cherry passed away from cancer in 1995 at the age of 58. Glenn Buxton of the Alice Cooper Band passed away in 1997 at the age of 49. Singer Hortense Ellis passed away in 2000 at the age of 59. Dallas Cook of Suburban Legends passed away in 2005 at the age of 23. Singer Lala Brown was murdered in 2007 at the age of 21. Singer and actor Noel Harrison passed away in 2013 at the age of 79. Drummer Ronald Jackson passed away from leukemia in 2013 at the age of 73. The co-founder of the American Composers Forum, Stephen Paulus, passed away from a stroke in 2014 at the age of 65. Saxophonist Raphael Ravenscroft from Jerry Rafferty's hit song, Baker Street, passed away in 2014 at the age of 60. Spencer Davis of the Spencer Davis Group passed away in 2020 at the age of 81. Tony Lewis of The Outfield passed away in 2020 at the age of 62. Film composer Leslie Brickus passed away in 2021 at the age of 90. Opera singer Joanne Simon passed away in 2022 at the age of 85. And singer-songwriter Atsuchi Sakurai passed away in 2023 at the age of 57. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is October 20th, when in 1977, six members of the band Leonard Skinner, including lead singer Ronnie Van Zant, passed away in a charter plane crash. <laughs> 